Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Um, get your bracelets. Yes, your healing bracelets, your uh, protective bracelets, black tourmaline, and the amethyst bracelets. Okay, um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to this reading. Bless the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so what we're going to talk about is what the Aquarius needs to work on. What does Aquarius need to be focused on? What does Aquarius need to work on right now? Three of Swords coming out. So you need to work on maybe healing. Healing from um, situations where there was heartbreak, heartache. Uh, people didn't treat you the way you thought you should be treated. Um, miscommunications, misinterpretation of others' words. Maybe a divorce, a separation, a third party situation. You need to work on healing from this. You need to work on uh, your intuition, listening to your intuition. The high priest is coming up. You need to work on using your wisdom, your insight, your uh, forethought. You need to work on definitely listening to your intuition. Also, you need to work on not making any move until spirit tells you. Some of this has been caused by you moving when nobody said move. Um, the high priestess, you need to work on uh, making a decision. It says in the high priestess, a decision needs to be made. Some of you need to work on going into your life purpose. There has been something that has set with you for life. You knew that you would be good at it. You know that you'd be good at it. You need to start moving in that direction whatever that thing is whether it's cooking it's sewing knitting you know speaking oration if it's uh dancing it i don't know what it could be but you need to work on fostering your gifts and presenting them to the world okay because you have something everybody's got something right whether we think it's real small or we think it's real big you have something what does aquarius need to work on right now you need to also work on, you know, leaving well enough alone with the three of swords and the high priestess. Stop, stop the communication judgment. You need to work on forgiving, forgiving nature, uh, forgiving uh, those who have wronged you, those who didn't do right by you. You need to work on that. You need to work on relinquishing all of the unforgiveness from the past because it's holding you back here some way. You stay stuck. You're on a loop. What you say is on a loop. You have the same spiel every single time you open your mouth. They did this. Or they did that. I did nothing or I did something. I don't know. I don't know what your story is, but it is definitely that you need to release, relinquish, move on, absolve these people. You're holding them in contempt. You're holding them at fault for not doing, for not giving, you have to let them stop living rent free in your heart and your mind. It's up to you. They may have done some terrible, deplorable things to you. Now, I don't want to discount that. Okay. But how long are you going to hold on to that? Um, what Aquarius needs to work on? Um, the nine of pentacles, maybe getting more independence um abundance the death card you need to work on going from one dynamic to the next so independent so you might need to change your super some of you are like ferociously independent like a damn pit bull or guard dog to where because the nine of pentacles talks about the woman who lives alone keeps people outside of her heart or home space i don't want you too close we're not gonna get too intimate uh you know, it is what it is. I'm going to give you Monday and uh, maybe Friday and the other days belong to me. Uh, you know, you are set in your ways and it's because you are abundant in material, you know, resources, factors. Therefore, you feel like, you know, you can call the shots and, and you can. Don't get me wrong. But when people really want a relationship with anybody, they want to know them inside and out. They want to know what, of course, makes them laugh, happy. But what are their fears? What are, uh, you know, um, 
What are their shortcomings? All of that. They just want to know you. And for some of you, you're just not letting people get in, get that close for whatever reason. Your reason might be valid. But is it holding you back from a real vulnerable, intimate, not sexual, but intimate relationship? Because the death card comes after the nine of cup pentacles. So it says that what you need to do is try to shift that a little bit. You know, be movable. Don't be too rigid in your independence where no, no, no. You can't do nothing for me and I'm going to do this. And, and, you know, just, you, it might not be reading well to other people. I don't know. I don't know your life. Um, let's see. So something about, you need, and then the death card translates into a four. So it talks about women, mother, motherly energy, women and children, home, roots. It's like you're rooted to your independence. Maybe because at one time you didn't have it and people took advantage of you when you didn't have your independence, when you were somebody's little wife, or maybe when you were a child, maybe people walked over you or they looked over you or they didn't choose you or this and that. Um, so you hold your independence, your abundant nature, very close to your heart, ferociously, fiercely, you know? So you might need to change that because other people don't know where they get, they don't know how to get in, where they fit in with you. There ain't no room. You're not letting nobody in. It's just like, well, I don't know what he or she wants, you know? So let's see. What else should Aquarius be working on moving forward? What should Aquarius be working on? Aquarius should be working on the Knight of Swords and the Strength card. You need to work on um, tempering your emotions and not have an emotional outburst and not confronting people in those emotions. Take your time, slow down, write things down, walk away, turn the phone off, um, mentally respond. It's a new thing I heard. Um, you, need to, you need to really scale it back. This is confrontation and this is raw emotions, but this is when you try to tame it. So it's like you need to tame that confrontational nature about yourself. It's not lending well to the outcome you say you want you want a wife you want a husband being confrontational um stirring the pot whatever it may be that's n is that going to make someone choose you or is that is that going to turn them the other way you know even when you feel validated in it it's still a way to say things it's still a way to go about things um yeah, what else does Aquarius need to change right now? There's the two of wands. Okay, so you might need to... Um, it's two things that you're doing to earn income. It's two ways that you can get to your outcome, to your destination. You need to decide. Because one of these are going to overpower the other. Okay, at some time. So you feel like you can just play the middle or do both. Eventually, the other... One or the other is going to overpower what Aquarius needs to work on right now. There's seven of swords. Some of you are sneaky. Some of you, you lie by nature. Get mad at me down in the comment section, whatever. Um, every Aquarius is not a uh, an angel. Okay, so it's, it's okay. It's okay. If it's not you, don't, don't, you know, make it personal. Say, oh, that part isn't me and, and keep going. So... Some of you need to, this is somebody who wants to be slick, sly, get away with, they want to do two different things or two different people or, you know, they want to, you know, they don't want to make a decision. They want to be um, in, in duality. And we know that duality is of, you know, a lower vibration, devil-like energy. You know, uh, the God of the universe wants you to make a decision. You're either good or you're bad. You're either hot or you're cold. You can't be lukewarm. You can't play the middle you're going to have to choose a side. Um, and some of you need to not be in that energy. You know, if that's not you, that's not you. But if it's for somebody, all right? Tap somebody and tell them it's for you, not me. Um, let's see. What else? Does What does Aquarius need to work on? I'm gonna put it back. What does Aquarius need to work on? 
that's why I didn't want me to put it up. Okay, um, the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you, you maybe your family dynamic, the relationship with your family, being in this family. You know what the Ten of Pentacles says? If you don't like the family you were born into, go make your own. You can't hold, because you're holding somebody in contempt down here. You just, you know, just holding them in a place of, I ain't never forgiving y'all. And y'all did this to me. You stole the money. And you did this. And, you, and they may have done all of those things. But how long are you going to hold on to it? Because it only holds you up. If you're in that type of spirit, think about that. If you're in that type of spirit of, I'm never forgiving. I'm, st I'm still on this. I'm still stuck on it. You know, and, and that's legitimate that you can be stuck there. Um, but do you think you're going to get your forever person, your soulmate, your twin flame, your life partner? No, the universe is going to be like, well, she's kind of, you know, needing to work some things out or he needs to work some things out. I'm not going to send them a whole healed, forgiving person and they can't even forgive people. Hell no, I'm not going to. That would be irresponsible of the universe. Like, I'm not going to send them to you. No, fix you and then get everything you say you want. Some of you need to fix some dynamics with, with family. Something about well, money, um, maybe family ties or issues. Last card for what Aquarius needs to work on. Wow, it popped out too. The five of pentacles so you need to work on maybe a lack mindset or impoverished mindset or woe is me or nobody helped or nobody did or um i was ignored i was shunned i was kicked out i was this i was that that's you know the five of pentacles has a saying behind the card it says um don't let so the five of pentacles is about a greek goddess named penia i believe um, she's the Greek goddess of poverty. She goes around knocking on everybody's door. Whoever lets her in, they have a hard time getting her out. And that's how poverty or impoverished mindset sticks with you. You have a hard time getting out of that place. When we know, I know how many tarot cards you've looked, tarot card readers you've looked at, you know that fives are temporary energy. It's not meant to stay here. It's not meant for anybody to stay here. So if you know that you're going to have a hard time getting out of this type of situation, don't get in it in the first place. Don't let that energy set and rest with you. When it comes knocking, don't open the door. Have 18, 20 different other thoughts of how you'll be abundant and um, how you are great and how your confidence is through the roof or do some energy work to where you can make that, those statements a reality because it's like some of you are resting in that energy and it stays with you you know you think you ain't nothing so therefore you are nothing you think they don't care about you therefore they don't care about you you think you're unloved therefore you're unloved whatever i don't know but it's about not letting that energy rest with you do we have those thoughts yes but we erase them with 10 positive thoughts right after that it is about what you do each and every day um let's leave you with advice all right let's see what is the advice for aquarius moving forward What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Feminine. Some of you, this is for the feminine energy that is the Aquarius. Um, so if you're in that feminine energy and you are an Aquarius, maybe this reading is for you. Um, some of you need to start to rest in your feminine energy. Some of you are a little bit too masculine. Something about platonic. Um, maybe you just need to be friends. Or maybe you just want friends. And if that's just what you want and you're comfortable with, then it is what it is. Or you just want to be friends with someone. Just, you know, lay it out. Um, make smart decisions. Uh, be wise with your time. With your emotional outbursts. Do the smart thing what else okay 
advice for Aquarius. Somebody loves everything about you and they do mean everything. Okay. So if you feel like you're unloved, do know you got at least one person that loves everything about you. Okay. Um, what's the advice for Aquarius? Yeah. Well, yeah. Another, somebody loves everything about you. Love how you dress, how you are. They love how you carry yourself. It just lights their fire with these two orange cards. Um, somebody is bothered by you not reaching out to them, talking to them. They could even be delving into magic or trying to do something to bring you back. Um, last card of advice for Aquarius. Yeah. Domination. We talked about that too. Somebody is trying to forcefully put on you what they want for the relationship. You don't want it. You don't share the same thing. Christmas. Oh, this always comes out for the Aquarius. Christmas could be significant for you this year. I heard you could be pregnant around Christmas. Whoa. Maybe even happy. Whoa, you can even get your masculine. Y'all do this work so you can bring in your person and um, stop stalling on doing the work. Okay. I heard write forgiving letters to all those people who wronged you. You don't have to actually give the person the letter, but write the letter of forgiveness to them. The art of getting things out on paper is so strong. And that's why when you do magic, you, you, most times you write things, you spell it out. Spell. You cast in something. So why not cast forgiveness? If you can't say it, if you don't want to meet up with this person and tell them how you forgive them, if you feel like it would just turn into an all out brawl, why not write it out so that this work can start happening for you so that doors can start opening for you doors of healing of relief everybody wants a happy person nobody wants a jacked up person nobody wants to just say okay you jacked up but i'll take you anyway you wouldn't want to do that so fix you and then get a person that's just like you fixed and healed all right that's what i have for you aquarius definitely if you need some more you know that healing in your spirit man because it's coming in strong get you some of get one of the um amethyst bracelets here that i have on the website i tell you wearing this bracelet i've been wearing it now it's been three days i wear it to sleep um i wear it all day um i just feel good i feel better um Thing, I mean, I'm not really a person that where I just, things just stick with me anyway. But I imagine if I was that person, I would be able to, to um, let things, you know, go even more. But I don't know. I just feel the vibration. Keep in mind that when you wear precious stones, when you wear um, those different crystals, you take on that vibration. It, it, it fuses and, and meshes with your energetic field. So if you're needing to have uh, healing happen in your life in any way get you one of these bracelets i have prayed over them uh, seven days seven nights so that when you get your bracelet you can actually see change happen in your life all right um thank you many blessings to you all links are below catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night the link is below to the bracelets also come learn the tarot with me classes are linked below thank you many blessings to you i'm gonna start going live on uh, instagram let me know if you guys like that. I think I'm going to do a poll, but I'm definitely going to go live on Instagram. So just head on over to Instagram. My Instagram handle is below. Head on over to Instagram and I'm going to start going live over there. All right. Thank you guys. Take care.